Here we are on the Bastogne map in the XP-38G. Bomber hunting a bit. I don't get any good angle on that guy. Come back in. Also don't get Tyrax on him, he hits me. Tail gunner. I go up, yo-yo over. Drop down. He's very enthusiastic. There we go. Got something. And he goes in. I get the kill. Yay. Okay, so now... I'm heading back to home because I don't like that Spitfire. Italian Spitfires are very dangerous. That guy turns out to be a level 100 pilot as well. And he clearly has eyes for... Uh, either me or... that Typhoon. So he goes in and commits on the Typhoon energy fighting and maneuvering, and I decide to go help the Typhoon. Because i got to get the Spitfire sooner or later, and rather do it while the Typhoon's alive. So this, this is cool. Got my pilot view here. I pull up, and he goes under me, as I decline the head-on. He's in pursuit of the Typhoon. stand on my tail a bit. A little bit of a roll. And now I'm going to flip over. Drop. It's not really a hammerhead. It's not really a loop. It's ugly. But here I come. It's very difficult with Bitfires to get an angle of attack because they can change what they're doing so quickly. Case in point, he makes a U-turn under me, and they can't follow without lawn darting into the ground, so I pull up again. And again, he's going for the Typhoon, confident that he can deal with me. Again, I do this ugly flip over. I think I've got some flaps open here. Go to get lined up. He is looping over on the 109. Also coming, or that's the type of, also coming up for me and head on. I hit him in the belly here. away. He never really got his guns lined up on me as he was turning over. Alright, so he's damaged. And I have the altitude and speed. And he has Spitfire magic. come back down on him. He's going to turn across in front of me, maybe under me. Yeah, I can't follow that without corkscrewing into the ground. So I go up. Again, keep my altitude. Roll over. I'm going to try and get a shot here. Again, that looked good until he made that tight turn and I could not follow. Up again, not nearly so far. Actually decided to look extending, horse this big plane around. Alright. Now, as he's going down into the ravine or riverbed here for whatever reason. 
I'm going to take a shot through the trees and clip him. Dink. And I pull up and horse this big plane around using pure engine power. That's a good thing too because he's looped right back over on me. And here comes a 109 above me. Now I'm in trouble. Spitfire in pursuit, 109 diving on me. So I break around, reverse my break. 109 misses me. The spit has to give up. He's no match for my speed. chased by the A6M and he goes down and I get the kill just that one belly hit was good enough apparently and there's just two guys left on their team and it wraps up from here without any further involvement from me I think <laughs> so Not that exciting, except a demonstration of how to keep your altitude and patience and try and carefully pick off very maneuverable, aggressive dogfighters like the Spitfire.